An attack helicopter is an armed helicopter with the primary role of an attack aircraft, with the offensive capability of engaging ground targets such as enemy infantry, military vehicles, and fortifications. Due to their heavy armament, they are sometimes called helicopter gunships. Attack helicopters can use weapons including autocannons, machine guns, rockets, and anti-tank missiles. Some attack helicopters are also capable of carrying air-to-air -air missiles, though mostly for purposes of self-defense against other helicopters and low-flying light combat aircraft. This episode is about the two deadliest attack helicopters in the world. The United States Boeing AH-64 Apache and the Russia Cam of KA-52 Alligator. The Boeing AH-64 Apache is an American twin-turboshaft attack helicopter with a tailwheel-type landing gear arrangement and a tandem cockpit for a crew of two. It features a nose-mounted sensor suite for target acquisition and night vision systems. It is armed with a 30mm in, M230 chain gun carried between the main landing gear, under the aircraft's forward fuselage, and four hardpoints mounted on stubwing pylons for carrying armament and stores, typically a mixture of AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and Hydra-70 rocket pods. The AH-64 has significant systems redundancy to improve combat survivability, the Apache began as the Model 77 developed by Hughes Helicopters for the United States Army's Advanced Attack Helicopter Program to replace the AH-1 Cobra. The U.S. Army is the primary operator of the AH-64. It has also become the primary attack helicopter of multiple nations, including Greece, Japan, Israel, the Netherlands, Singapore, and the United Arab Emirates. It has been built under license in the United Kingdom as the Augusta Westland Apache. American AH-64s have served in conflicts in Panama, the Persian Gulf, Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Israel used the Apache in its military conflicts in Lebanon and the Gaza Strip. British and Dutch Apaches have seen deployments in wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Design, the AH-64 Apache has a four-blade main rotor and a four-blade tail rotor. The crew sits in tandem, with the pilot sitting behind and above the co-pilot slash gunner. Both crew members are capable of flying the aircraft and performing methods of weapon engagements independently. The AH-64 is powered by two General Electric T-700 turboshaft engines with high-mounted exhausts on either side of the fuselage. Various models of engines have been used on the Apache, those in British service use engines from Rolls-Royce. In 2004, General Electric Aviation began producing more powerful T-700 GE701D engines, rated at 2000 shop, 1,500 kilowatts, for AH-64DS, the crew compartment. The crew compartment and rotor blades are designed to sustain a hit from 23 mm, 0.91 in, rounds. The airframe includes some 2,500 pounds, 1,100 kilograms, of protection and has a self-sealing fuel system to protect against ballistic projectiles. 
This compartment also incorporates a transparent blast shield between the pilot and gunner seats so that at least one crew member can survive in the event of a direct hit, but the canopy and windows are otherwise unrated against ballistic threats. The aircraft was designed to meet the crashworthiness requirements of MIL STD-1290, which specifies minimum requirement for crash impact energy attenuation to minimize crew injuries and fatalities. This was achieved through incorporation of increased structural strength, crashworthy landing gear, seats and fuel system, avionics and targeting. One of the revolutionary features of the Apache was its helmet-mounted display, the integrated helmet and display sighting system, EHADS, among its capabilities. Either the pilot or gunner can slay the helicopter's 30mm automatic M230 chain gun to their helmet making the gun track head movements to point where they look. The M230E1 can be alternatively fixed to a locked forward firing position, or controlled via the Target Acquisition and Designation System TADS. On more modern AH-64s, the TADS-PNVS has been replaced by Lockheed Martin's Arrowhead TADS, targeting system. The AH-64 was designed to perform in frontline environments, and to operate at night or day and during adverse weather conditions. Darius sensors and onboard avionics allows the Apache to perform in these conditions. Such systems include the Target Acquisition and Designation System, Pilot Night Vision System, TADS-PNVS, Passive Infrared Countermeasures, GPS, and the HADS. Longbow-equipped Apaches can locate up to 256 targets simultaneously within 50 kilometers 31 miles. In August 2012, 24 U.S. Army AH-64DS were equipped with the Ground Fire Acquisition System GFAS, which detects and targets ground-based weapons fire sources in all light conditions and with a 120 degrees visual field. The GFAS consists of two sensor pods working with the AH-64's other sensors, and a thermographic camera that precisely locates muzzle flashes, armament and configurations. The AH-64 is adaptable to numerous different roles within its context as Close Combat Attack CCA, 40, in addition to the 30mm M230E1 chain gun. The Apache carries a range of external stores and weapons on its stubwing pylons, typically a mixture of AGM-114 Hellfire anti-tank missiles and Hydra-70 general-purpose unguided 70mm in, rockets. The Hellfire is designed to defeat stationary or moving tanks as far away as 6,500 meters. Since 2005, the Hellfire missile outfitted with a thermobaric warhead is designated AGM-114N. This missile version is intended for use against ground forces and urban warfare operations. In October 2015, the U.S. Army ordered its first batch of Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System APKWS, guided 70mm rockets for the Apache. Starting in the 1980s, the Stinger and AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles and the AGM-122 Sidearm Anti-Radiation Missile were evaluated for use upon the AH-64. The Stinger was initially selected. In January 2020, the U.S. Army announced it was fielding the Spike NLOS missile on AH-64E Apaches as an interim solution to acquire new munitions that provide greater standoff capabilities, AH-64 Apache performance. The Boeing AH-64 Apache can climb at a rate of 889M slash min. The maximum and cruise speeds of the helicopter are 279 km per hour and 260 km per hour, respectively. The ferry range and service ceiling of the helicopter are 1,900 km and 6, 400 m, respectively. The endurance is 3 hours and 9 minutes. The helicopter weighs around 5,165 kg, while its maximum takeoff weight is 10,433 kg.
The Cam of Ka 52 Alligator, NATO reporting name Hokum B, is a two-seat version of the Ka 50. It is a multi-role all-weather attack helicopter, capable operating in daytime and at night. Development started in 1994 and the type was first flown in 1997. The Ka-52 are high-performance combat helicopters with day and night capability. The Ka-52 an highly maneuverable helicopter armed with powerful armament complex and is capable to execute any combat task with high efficiency. Ka-52 Combat Scout Attack Helicopter is designed for destruction of tanks, armored and non-armored vehicles, enemies' manpower and adversary helicopters in the front line or in tactical depth. The helicopter provides transfer of target reconnaissance, target distribution and target designation data to interacted helicopters and command posts of ground forces. It was designed to be small, fast and agile to improve survivability and lethality. The Cam of Ka 52 Alligator is fitted with uprated TV 3 117 VMA turboshaft engines. The Hokum B has unique maneuverability, which was derived from its two coaxial contra rotating main rotors. It is among the most maneuverable helicopters in the world. Armor of the Alligator withstands hits from 23mm projectiles. Pilots are seated in ejection seats. The helicopter can fly with one engine disabled. A number of Ka-52 helicopters were shot down in Ukraine. Nevertheless, it proved to be a very survivable machine. There were a number of cases when the Ka-52 was hit by a missile, but still managed to make a controlled landing or even to return to base. The Ka-52 has a new radar with a nose-mounted radar system for targeting giving the Ka-52 a rounder nose profile. A day and night thermal sighting system is fitted in a spherical turret under the nose. The Ka-52 has the side-mounted cannon of the original Ka-50. It features six wing-mounted hardpoints, compared to four on the Ka-50. Flight systems include an inertial navigation system, INS, autopilot and head-up display, HUD. Sensors include forward-looking infrared, FLIR, and terrain-following radar, the Cam of Ka-50 is also fitted with an electronic radio and sighting piloting navigating system allowing flights at day and night in VFR and IFR weather conditions. The novelty of this avionics is based on the system of precise target designation with digital coded communication system, which ensures the exchange of information, precise enemy coordinates, between helicopters flying far apart from each other as well as with ground command posts. The Ka-52 is also equipped with a Fazitron cockpit radio locator, allowing flights in adverse meteorological conditions and at night. The necessary information acquired by this radio locator is transferred to the cockpit's multifunctional display screen. For conducting a fight, both pilots are equipped with rangefinders built in their helmets, and they can use night vision eyepieces for night flights. Ka-52 design cockpit and avionics, Ka-52 incorporates a slightly modified design of the Ka-50 helicopter. The helicopter features a wider nose and an extended fuselage due to its twin-seat cockpit. The commonality of the airframe, components, and systems of the two variants is about 85%. The helicopter has a length of 16M, height of 4.9M and main rotor diameter of 14.5M. The maximum takeoff weight of the Ka-52 is 10,800 kg, the twin-seat cockpit accommodates two crew members in side-by-side -side arrangement. Both the crew members are seated on identical K-37-800M ejection seats. It is the world's first operational helicopter with a rescue ejection system allowing the pilot to escape at all altitudes and speeds. The rotor blades detach using explosive bolts prior to ejection to prevent damage to the crew. The K-37-800 rocket-assisted ejection system is manufactured by NPP Zvezda. Armaments on the attack helicopter The Ka-52 helicopters have high combat survivability and powerful weaponry. The aircraft has one Shipyanov 2 a 42 autocannon with selective fire and a dual feed giving it a cyclic rate of fire between 200 and 800 rounds per minute. 
It is mounted near center of gravity for accuracy and carries 460 high fragmentation, explosive incendiary, or armor-piercing rounds. The type of ammunition is selected by the pilot during flight. The six wing-mounted external hardpoints can be attached with different combinations of weapons. The hardpoints can carry VIKHR anti-tank guided missiles, ATGM, Attica missiles with laser guidance system and the 8V20 rocket launchers for 80mm unguided S8 rockets. DIKHR anti-tank missile has a range of 8 to 10 kilometers. The Ka-52s can also be armed with IGLAV anti-aircraft guided missiles. The fire control system automatically shares all target information in real time, allowing one helicopter to engage a target spotted by another aircraft, and the system can also input target information from ground-based forward scouts with personnel-carried target designation gear. Further, the helicopter was equipped with the latest guided air-to-surface missile ISDALI 305E, product 305E, which can strike a target. At a distance of up to 14.5 kilometers with a speed of up to 230 meters per second, Russia fired the latest missiles from a Ka-52 Alligator attack helicopter during its military operation in Ukraine in 2022. On February 24, 2022, during the initial stages of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, at least one Russian Ka-52 helicopter was damaged but was able to land on its own. On March 2, a Russian Ka-52 was hit by a surface-to-air missile and crash-landed. Sensors, Radars, and Countermeasures The Ka-52 helicopter is fitted with a mast-mounted radom housing a Fazatron FH-01mm wave radar MMW, radar with two antennas for aerial and ground targets. The countermeasures are supported by active IR and electronic jammers, radar warning receiver, RWR, laser detection system, IR missile approach warning sensor and UV-26 flare slash chaff dispensers in wingtip fairings. In the constant contest between aviation measures and countermeasures, it is likely that Russia has gained a temporary advantage in southern Ukraine, especially with attack helicopters employing longer-range missiles against ground targets. Ka-52s have been heavily used by Russian forces to defend against the 2023 Ukrainian counteroffensive. They have been successful, 